Well, all right. It's the uh, start of a new adventure, and I just hit dead stop traffic immediately after being on the interstate for five seconds. Oh, well, it was a good start. But well, it'll give me some time to sit here and uh, explain what's going on. Uh, I am currently driving to the Nashville International Airport, where I will be flying over to Germany to start the uh, Euro Arena run of Electric Callboy's Techno Tour. I'm pretty excited, man. Um, you know, most of you guys watching this channel probably already know, and I tour managed them in the, uh, in the US and Canada last summer, and it worked out really well. And they asked if I'd be interested. Oh, okay, just go on by, bud. Uh, they asked if I'd be interested in coming to Europe and being on the tour. So uh, this will be fun, man. Uh, I'm beyond excited. And also because I haven't been on tour in Europe in probably four or five years. So I'm excited to get back over there and kind of have some fun and learn some new things and just enjoy some time with some good people. Hopefully I'll get to do some uh, traveling on days off and sightseeing and stuff like that. But uh yeah, it's gonna be cool. And I'm gonna try and bring you guys along for the ride as much as possible. But uh, for the next probably hour or so, I'm just gonna sit in traffic. So uh, check in with you guys in a little bit. Well, finally at the airport, what would usually take me 40 minutes of a drive took me almost two hours because of traffic. So I'm gonna drop this rental car off, go through security and all that stuff. And uh, yeah. All checked in. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like kind of an asshole vlogging because I'm not used to vlogging at all. I'm used to sitting at my camera at my house, but as you can see, I'm here, I'm checked in. I uh, gotta go through security and then I got about two hours to kill before we get on the flight. So find somewhere to sit down, maybe watch some music or something. We are in Nashville after all, but uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. So I just got through security and uh, one of the things I didn't think about, sorry, I wanna give you guys this beautiful view here behind me before I leave. This is, I, this is the first time I've left home for like tour since Ingrid uh, kind of gets what's going on. And I, Ingrid's my daughter for anybody that doesn't know that's seeing this for the first time or seeing my channel for the first time. Um, man, I just FaceTimed with them even though I just got to the airport. You know, she just got home from school and it was rough to be honest. I'm like kind of like fighting it back right now. like. When I toured with Powerwolf last year, um, she kind of didn't really get that like I was leaving. And even when I toured with Electric Callboy last year, she was still not at the age where she really knew what was going on, but now she does and it's like rough. Like even being gone for an hour, she's already asking when I'm coming home and it's, it's, it's hard, man. You know, there's a lot of people that tour that have kids and you know, I kind of understand now. It's 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 difficult. It's a whole new ball game leaving home when you have kids like this. So, if anybody else travels for work that has to deal with that, props to you because this is going to be rough for sure. Much 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 later. Well, good morning from London. Pretty good flight. Uh, slept pretty much the whole time, but I did watch the new Exorcist movie. I thought it kind of sucked. It's kind of boring, but uh, I feel like I'm slacking at this vlogging thing. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like kind of an asshole walking around in an airport, holding up a camera and just talking to myself, getting a lot of weird looks, but you know what? This is what it is, so. Time to check my connecting flights and uh, kill some time. <coughs> One hour later.
first time in about seven years on German soil. I'm gonna go through customs. So I just went past through uh, passport control, no joke. They were kind of, you know, they're kind of hard ass at immigration always. And they asked me what I was doing here and I said work. And when I told them I was working for a band, they said who? And when I told them it was Electric Callboy, they completely lightened up and were just like, oh, have fun. <laughs> Easy, let's go get bags. So this is kind of weird. Uh, first thing I see is a, a McCafe. And now down there's a KFC. The most American things you could find the second I step through customs. And look at Jens. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. So semi uneventful evening for content. Um, so who you saw a little while ago, that was Jens, Electric Callboy's manager. He picked me up at the airport. And then when we went out, I forgot my GoPro in his car, but uh, uh, I'm back where I'm staying for my time in Germany. I just got back from dinner with Jens and uh, Pascal, had a really good pizza. And uh, man, jet lag just hit me like a ton of bricks. I didn't realize how tired I was until like right now. I kind of feel talked out too from dinner, but uh, man, I'm excited to be here. This is gonna be fun. Um, tomorrow I got a day to do whatever. And then uh, we leave tomorrow night and first stop uh, Berlin. So I'm gonna go to sleep for probably like 12 hours. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. Later. Guten Morgen aus Deutschland. Uh, ich bin Muda. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's probably two things you're thinking. Yeah, I just woke up like this. I passed out because I was so jet lagged last night, just in my hoodie. And yes, I had my GoPro sitting here for when I woke up. That's what we're doing. We're trying to vlog stuff. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I should probably get up and cook some breakfast. I uh, went to the supermarket last night. Got some eggs. Got some good bread. Um, gonna try and stay healthy while I'm out here, but uh, I don't know. I might have to break a few rules and eat some good food. But today I know uh, uh, the Electric Callboy crew has to do some stuff and load some gear, so I offered to go help. Um, but they kind of told me to just enjoy myself for the day, so. We'll see what happens. Before I do anything else, let's get started with some breakfast. Got some eggs, got some butter, got some spinach. I think uh, f four eggs will do the trick this morning. Couldn't find the normal hot sauce I usually get in the States, so we're gonna try a paprika sauce. I bet that's pretty good, you know? Let's try a little just in case I hate it. <laughs> Perfect. So one of the things that I, I do have to do as, as part of my job is uh, I kind of take care of the guest list for everything for the shows. And for the shows in Europe, the guest list is way crazier than in the US. So I'd rather try and do all that now while I have time. It's, wow, it's 12.30 already. Uh, <laughs> I woke up kind of late. I'd rather take care of this now, like on a day off, than try and do all of this the day of a show. Because trying to organize a guest list for 300 people on the day of a show is uh, not fun and would be very stressful. So I'm gonna spend a little time doing this. As you can see from the window behind me, a little bit of time has passed. I had to take a nap. Jet lag is still getting me. But I've been sitting here working for a while and it's always important to take a break when you're working. So uh, 
We're gonna do this for a second. Well, all right, it's almost time for bus call. Been doing work all day, and uh, as you can see, got uh, the bags ready by the door already. But yeah, I'm just waiting on Jens to pick me up, and then we head over to, uh, I think the guy's studio is where they're having bus call and stuff like that, and then uh, get to see everybody for the first time in like four months. Super excited about it. So it's very dark, but I'm on the bus, and uh, yeah, I've been very bad at this vlogging thing again. So I'm gonna try and get better when we start doing the shows, but uh, I'm super tired. I got jet lag. I'm going to bed. So the next time we'll be on camera, we will be in Berlin. See you later. Good morning. Well, day one. It took me forever to get to sleep last night, just cause the jet lag and all that, but I slept pretty good once I did, so uh, I'm gonna head inside, kind of get my bearings, and uh, start my day. Once again, I've been very bad at this vlogging thing, but I'm walking backstage at the arena in Berlin. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go check some stuff out. Hey, look, it's Kevin. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so right now, one of the fun parts of my day, I just realized this GoPro does not like fluorescent lights. It's like flashing. Um, I gotta go through our guest list and get passes ready and all that stuff. And in Berlin, uh, it's over 200 because this is basically, you know, hometown German show, stuff like that. So it's a pretty big list. It's pretty meticulous. So I got to go through all the passes and all the names and get everything sorted and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and then after that, hopefully I'll grab some lunch. Today has been insane. Back in the production office again. Haven't stopped since, what, six in the morning? I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna get done on this tour, honestly, because of how crazy it is. But it's been wild, first day, man. It's just great to see everybody, and um, yeah, it's just my mind's right now. But it's 6 p.m., so about two and a half hours until the Electric Callboy showtime. Maybe I'll strap on the body cam then, that could be fun. I need to find my pack. Oh hey. Oh, oh yeah. It's like that Spider-Man meme. It's like 
Tank cam. You motherfuckers outside. <laughs> Welcome in Germany. Oh. Have fun with the show. See you. <laughs> I missed this. <laughs> oh, it's already on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the lock cam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tank cam. Tank cam. Tank cam. Tank cam. I'm only gonna hit it every oh, now and <laughs> Love you. Love you. Und Sträger. <lacht> Zwei, eins.
What? Hey, I got it. the other one where do you usually put these uh inside the wardrobe cases oh. when they're empty like, but uh, you can put this yeah yeah uh, over there in the crate yeah uh gibst du tank gleich yeah ah all right thank you thank you <laughs> Does David not have like a drink thing? Do you just drink give him thing. stuff like the the tray for the drinks? No, he has this one here. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. So there's only Jan. The trays for the drinks are there only uh, Fia? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Upside in the wardrobe case. These two? Yeah. Yeah. In this one. Yeah.
Yeah. I'm saying it right now. I love you. I love you. No. I love all of you. Yeah, I mean, yes, but I love you more. Okay. It's okay, but <laughs> I, you have a feelings I respect them, but I have more feelings for you. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. This, is, this, this was so fun, finally getting to do like a big show like this yeah. with you guys. And no. we were doing more like all over the world. I know. And I'm so happy that you're being part of this. Uh -huh. like, I'm so happy that you guys like trust me enough to bring me out here. 100 <laughs> a lot of time. Well, um, it's going to be a fun year. What time do you usually start taking down signs? You can stop right away. Okay, because I think everybody knows where they're going at this point. Good for a show in Europe. Came back to production and it's like Christmas. Obviously one of the boxes is from the band and I'm not special, everybody got something nice. And then the other box is from one of our Discord members. It's really cool. So when I get to the bus later, I'm gonna open this up and check it out. But uh, I gotta take a bunch of stuff to the bus and uh, take down dressing room signs and all that stuff and got a bunch more work to do. So finish that up and uh, hopefully get some good sleep tonight. I don't feel as jet lagged anymore. That adrenaline from the show like kicked in and I felt great. So uh, yeah. All right, show number two, Hanover. Uh, obviously I didn't really record anything last night because it was crazy. And it's already crazy this morning. So I'll try and do some more today while I'm working. Right now I'm just getting my computer set up and getting everything ready to go for the day. I'll get some coffee in a second. This is a really nice arena. I'll go around in a little bit and uh, get some stuff because it's really cool. Get a little good look at this arena from up top. A lot of stairs. This actually reminds me of a very American arena, the way that it's set up. Uh, sold out show tonight. I think it's like 11,000 or something like that. Take a look. As you can see, uh, pretty much everything's set up at this point. We're just waiting for uh, like sound engineers to do their thing, lighting to focus, stuff like that. Band will come up and sound check. Uh, yeah, and there's the sound right now. So I'll probably go back to the production office, do a little more work. Uh, right now it's about, I don't know, 12.30 PM. So it's still about nine hours until the actual show. So we got plenty of time. Oh, it's plus call. Yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> yeah. I just realized I had to go to, to the bus because I forgot envelopes. And it's cold out. So right now, one of the parts of my day is going through guest list, getting everybody's names and these nice envelopes and passes and all that stuff. So when they go to the box office, they get everything.
Sound check time. Let's go check it out for a minute. Back to stacking envelopes. Yes, of course. All right, been a hectic night. Had to get through dinner and doors opening and all this crazy stuff. So now I'm going to the stage to get my pack so I can hear things through my in-ears during the show. Danke schön. Never happened before. I actually forgot the beers for the stage it's for the boys. Thing to forget. It is. <laughs> they would have just like killed me on stage. Where's our fucking beers? <laughs>
one fast teardown. Show's been done for five minutes. They work efficiently in Europe. Ah! I am so f***ing tired. It's almost 1 a.m. Which is actually earlier than we got out yesterday in Berlin. See, look, they're done already. Um, jet lag is still hit me a little bit, but tomorrow's the day off. Actually, I got like four days off now. So I am gonna go sleep, and then I'm gonna enjoy my day tomorrow. Cook some food, probably play some video games, something like that. But yeah, hopefully, however I put this together, it was semi-entertaining. I don't really have a lot of faith in my editing skills sometimes. Although, I've never done something like this, so it might be interesting. So if there's anything you guys think would be better, just let me know. And I, I know I need to get better at filming throughout the day too, so. Anyways, uh, cheers.